Spyglass acknowledge possible hostiles in the area. Our current position is 35 miles northwest of Waypoint Delta. Roger, Royal Flight. Turn right to heading 270. Maintain terrain masking. Expect clearance to Angel 340. Roger, Spyglass. Turn right to heading 270. Maintain terrain masking. Standing by for clearance to 340. Royal Flight cleared to... No! Abort! Abort! Bandits inbound! Compared to the most modern existing combat aircraft, the Rafale's agility is greatly improved. Specific Delta Canard aerodynamic formula, high thrust to weight ratio provided by two M88 engines, a unique digital flight control system, and the Spectra fully integrated self-protection system all combine to provide the Rafale with outstanding maneuverability and safety features. With an empty weight of less than 10 tons, the Rafale has 14 attachment points for external loads, five of which are wet and available for supplementary fuel tanks. More than eight tons of military load can be carried. A real technological leap forward, the Rafale program is set to enjoy from the beginning of the next century a success comparable to that of the brilliant Mirage family. But here and now, for Dassault Aviation and all its partners, it represents a formidable challenge that the French aeronautic and space industry, in close collaboration with the French Delegation for Armament, Air Force and Navy, has succeeded in meeting. The Dassault Rafale, France's exciting new multi-role, multi-mission jet fighter. Carrying on the traditions of the legendary Mirage 2000, the Rafale will supersede six different types of aircraft in the French Armed Forces. The production versions of the Rafale are the single-seat carrier-borne M for the Navy and the two-seat B and single-seat C models for the Air Force. Starting with the first prototype test flights in July 1986, the Rafale program has had the ambitious aim of equipping the Air Force and Navy with a common, versatile twin-jet aircraft capable of performing the widest range of missions, with all present and future armaments, in all weathers, by day and night. With full industrialization of the program ordered in December 1992, and a year-long campaign of sea tests started in April 1993, the Rafale has proven to be flexible and maneuverable, capable of in-flight refueling, and operating from aircraft carriers or short tactical runways. Produced and assembled in nine different assault facilities throughout France, and with first production aircraft scheduled for delivery in 1998, the Rafale is the most striking example of how multi-role fighters will dominate the skies of the future. The aerodynamic design of the Dassault Rafale gives the aircraft its great agility and is based on a delta wing, a controlled canard wing, and a single tail fin. The semi-ventral air intakes with no moving parts provide very good feed to the engines, even at high angles of attack and up to high supersonic speeds. 
The structure makes much use of new low radar absorbent materials, especially carbon composites and titanium. Along with shaping, these materials contribute to the Rafale's low radar cross-section, survivability, and its capacity to carry out its missions in a very hostile environment. The flight control system, with three digital channels and one analog channel, connects to the navigation and weapons systems. Linked to the control of the two engines, the flight control system allows actuation of all control surfaces throughout the flight envelope, from zero speed to Mach 1.8.